recording, everything's set to go. Everything is good and gone. And this is where Will gets a line bump. Yes. Line bump, I want a pair. Oh. Not, not on taco spice. No. This will be a while for you to Go, 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 go! <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, oh, he's there? No, he's there. No, he's Oh, my God. Didn't, did I not just say that? This is where we'll get the line bump. <laughs> and then we were swearing, and then it, the line went off. And I was literally just standing there, and there was... Sorry. Oh! You know I had to do you that. You can't warn us ahead of time? Nope. Why ever? That was a good run. I wish it was on that. That's great, Goldie. You just you just stay right over I there. I take the spoon from you. Yeah, you, you oh, can't. Oh, I got it. No, 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 no. You're I cut off. It. You're cut off. Wow, what a guy. Take what you need. Cheers, boss. I'm just going to toss a little bit. Right on top of my spot. Wow, Goldie. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to go sit down again. <laughs> Get that line out there, prepped. <sighs> See, look at this, Goldie. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually right on two. Yeah. <laughs> right Ready? on the money. <laughs> One, two, three. Right on the money. Jeez, if I can bait that well backwards, how come you can't? <laughs> you got more bait Before on the. On the you got more bait on the unhooking mat than you did in the water. Yeah, I know. Well done, sir. That's impressive. You have to work hard at that. There's only one person I know that can do that. <laughs> Guess who it is? Will. You. <laughs> it will? <laughs> How do we start this? We start it like this. Oh, okay, see. Um, in the beginning. <laughs> in the beginning. In the beginning, Will lost a fish. As has Goldie. I am batting 100%. Yes, you are. So we're here. Uh, we're kicking off the October edition of the 12 Months of Carp, and if you haven't gathered already, um, it's fun. It's, what, 7 a.m.? Uh, Goldie and I actually arrived at just after 11 p.m. last night, and we walked down to the water and saw two 20s just sitting there feeding, uh, you know, two feet out from the bank. Um, so we're set up on this spot, thanks to Will from Peterborough Carping Guide. Uh, you know, we needed a spot to shoot October. We wanted a spot we hadn't been to yet. So he said, well, I got this spot where it's really good for barging fishing. So Goldie and I set up here last night after a long drive through hellish Toronto traffic. And, uh, you know, we got ourselves into a spot. The fish were right here in the margins as soon as we got here. The lines were set up, got ourselves comfortable. A little bit of rain pushed in, set up the brawly. Kind of had a bit of a snooze in the brawly and didn't get a single touch all night. Then I wake up to the sight of Will poking his face around the brawly at what, just after 6 a.m.? That's probably the scariest thing you can wake up to. <laughs> that was not something I'm, I'm ever gonna wanna say I need to see again. Um, I don't know how your wife does it. It's, it's quite frightening. Uh, but you were here, what, two minutes and I had the first line bump. Yeah. And maybe 10 minutes and my rod ripped off and that fish is right down in the sack we're gonna show you in a little bit. Um, then what? We hadn't even, we had that fish in the sack maybe five minutes, if that. If that, yeah. And then my line ripped off. Peeled. Peeled. And of course, like like the good fisherman I am, it, I lost it. You goldied it. I goldied it. Huh? Yeah, he had set and he was gone and, I, and he was gone. Gone, gone. But you had some redemption. I did. Not, what, half, half 20 hour. minutes? Yeah, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour later, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got another one. Finally got my 20. So excited to show you guys. He's sitting over there in the sack as well. There's he two has, 20s in yeah. those sacks. The he hasn't two put down his fin yet. Yeah, these, <laughs> he's he's so still angry. angry. But yeah, the two fish that we've managed so far this morning are both over 20 pounds. And wait till you see John's, folks. Wait till you see John's. <laughs> and the, the best part is, is I don't even need a 20 anymore. This is a bonus 20. And Goldie, after, you know, getting that 30 in <laughs> September, finally got the 20 he wanted because he had to downgrade a bit. Fish roll just out there in the middle. Nice. That's yep. a good fish too. Um, but that's not where the, all the activity's been. You had a, a pretty good line whack 
we figured it was just a bump earlier. Mm -hmm. And then just as we were getting the camera set up, you had that run. Yeah, what a, what a kick in the head that was. And I was literally standing there just moments before that, saw one fish dart in and out, but nothing was sitting there. Yep. I goldied it, though. You goldied it. Yeah, I goldied it. But it's okay. That's all right. Um, so you're running maize. I'm running a kill of vanilla boilie, and you're running a boilie of your own concoction. Absolutely. Um, spice don't work. Spice don't work. See? Where's your where's your keep sack? <laughs> but coming. yeah, we're gonna try and enjoy the morning. Uh, get a few more fish in, hopefully, because technically, you know, I was using my multi rig. I'll go over the details of that particular setup uh, a little bit later. Um, so I've got my October fish. Goldie's got his October fish. Technically, we're done, but that's gonna make for a boring video. So we want to try and get a few more. We hope. Uh, we've got the whole weekend. We're going to be traveling around, hitting a few spots. We may take you with us. We may not. Depends on how greedy we want to be. Um, you have some special guests that you're taking care of this weekend, so yes. we won't see too much of you. But we've got you here this morning, and possibly maybe, uh, you know, as we stop in and see you throughout the weekend. Absolutely. So yeah, we're having a great time. I really need a coffee. Yeah, it's kind of rude of him to bring a Tim Horton. Yeah, he showed up with a coffee and not one for me. I had to wake up to his ugly mug and I didn't have coffee. <laughs> oh well. At least we got fish. We should probably show the lovely folks at home those fish. Yeah. Yeah, it's you're raining out get... though. Oh. oh. Oh well. Yeah, I think we're going to get things set up and uh, I'll show you those fish. So, for this year, I got my 1915, my 30 on the nose, and this one was 24, 23.4. Oh, 23.4. So, my little quest for this year is done. I wanted to get a 20. Here she is. Still really angry. Corn. He's 23 now. <laughs> <laughs> He's been feeding. Holy smoke. Stop. How can you be so ornery still? Here. Okay, we're going to do this. It's going to only take a minute. No? <laughs> the fin's up. That's a beast of a fish, man. There we go. Just keep it relaxed, okay? Here she is in all her glory. We have another two months to go, so anything else can happen. We're gonna be here for a little while longer too, so like John said, we'll probably be traveling around a little bit, so we'll try different spots, see if we can find bigger fish. But yeah. Look at the mouth on this. Like you can tell this thing. This is one that eats zebra mussels. Like yeah. this is a massive oh, yeah. mouth. Turn it to the camera. It, it kind of looks like Danny Fairbrass. <laughs> wow. Introducing the new Carter. Holder. Wicked. Wicked. Paka, get in. There we go. <sighs> you know, it's a big group, just like oh, Danny yeah. Fairbrass. Just a, like a, a machine, a carp machine. <laughs> Beautiful colors on it too, but yeah. look at that. Look at that so, dark. dark. So the great thing is that this weekend is Canadian Thanksgiving, so I am now thankful for getting my 20, being out here with these two wackadoodles. <laughs> and just yeah, just, just having a great time. So all we need now is this rain to, to push off and we can get more fish coming in. Let's get, let's get you back. Just a massive head. Oh yeah, it's gonna be massive in a couple of years. Let's, let's get this one back. Yeah. <coughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're going back. There you go, you angry. Right, right there. That's John's pretty fish right there. Where? Right under here. That's mine? That's yours. Let's get that one out. We're excited to see that one.
I want to try that bit again, John. <laughs> <laughs> Look how pretty it's coming out. Look how strong it is. Well, you've already seen Goldie's, that was 23.4. Uh, here's mine, a Brute at 22.6. A beautiful kind of lightning bolt two-tone that we're calling Zig. Can I get some more water over here, Will? Absolutely. Just an amazing fish, uh, an incredible scrap. Bit of blood from the hook hold, but we're going to get something on that and we'll get it back. Just an incredible, absolutely incredible fish. And we open up the sack and find bits of crayfish. So not only is he eating our bait, but he's been eating the natural bait, and obviously that's why he's got such a massive form here. So yeah, really kicking off October well. You know, it's definitely conquered. Now it's just, let's add some fun to it. How hard is that to let go of, John? Very, very hard to let go of. Off into the rain. Where are you? Trying to figure that out. Man, get it. Yeah, okay. Now start filming, Goldie. <laughs> <laughs> John, just take one. Yeah, I'm just in that. Waiting and waiting and waiting for your turn. Absolutely. On the margin to yeah. literally just eat out in front of us here. And, and I just saw it come to the surface and it looks like another really good fish. Nice dark. Come up already? Yeah, you already splashed on the surface. Lovely fish. On the margin, Ron. Right? Going this way. Okay, we don't and I both moved out deeper. You stayed in the margin. I had a feeling. I had a deep position. Standing the side, John. Oil. Um. Bowen. Uh, All right, I got him. Am I on top of you or under you? I'm on top. Okay. Um. Thanks. No, we're under. Okay. That's a good fish, huh? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, you're decent. It'll do. It'll do. That'll do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fat fish. Oh, jumpy fish. It's not as big as Goldie. Of course, it's jumpy. Big, big tail. All, all of them have big tails. Yeah. He is not ready. Light lines too. Letting that nice 15 pound mono. It's, it's got that really tough mouth too, eh? That's yeah. Big, big, big mouth. mouth. That's probably another crazy fish here. Yeah, absolutely. The color of it is real nice. Kind of like, like a red purple. Mm. Mm. Just 
stay right there, John. <laughs> there it is. That's it. Get in. Get in. He's short, but he's fat. So could this be the third 20? The third 20 of the morning? It's going to be a really close call. He's short, but he has just as much girth as the other one. I'm thinking that's going to be close. He's high double, at least. Well, for some reason I get the feeling that they're going to break the news to me that she's not quite 20 pounds, but... Well, in all fairness, the first two fish were over 20. Yeah. Right? That's right. So we at least landed 60 pounds worth of fish here. 19 pounds, 10 ounces. Oh, what a bugger. Well, so either close. way... But what a fish. Look at the profile on that. What a lovely carp. It's very typical around here. We see a lot of fish that have this nice shape to them. Obviously, once again, the big, big mouths on them. And... Uh, yeah, they're starting to put on that nice fall belly. So, I'm pretty ecstatic. And I think we're uh, we're gonna get into a couple more before the day is done. Well, let's hope so. And there we are. Farewell, my friend. So what we're doing, as we've been sitting here, you know, the weather changes, we get a little bit of uh, flat on the water. And we're noticing that carp are actually coming up and surfacing. Uh, they seem to be eating something from the surface. We think there's an insect hatch of some sort. And uh, they're just cruising all around this basin. And so I thought, okay, it would be great to throw like a, a pop-up or a zig or something out. And then Will said, oh, I have a 12 foot ready to go. And I happen to have uh, a short hook length that I was using for a zig with just a simple tutti frutti pop-up and a size eight hook. So the idea is when we saw them over here, they were within casting distance. Uh, but they pushed out or down. We're just gonna keep this rod at the ready, I think. And as soon as they come in close, because they're staying out in the middle right now, as soon as they come in close, We'll pull one of those lines and have an opportunity to try and cast this pop up at them and maybe take one off the surface while we're here. Man, the, the one that we saw that just sharked across here, that was a big fish. All right, let's uh, leave this together. That way, the next one that comes in close, somebody can just grab it and go after it. No, I got it from the British guy. Would you please have one ball bearing? No, it's because it's an ARV one ball bearing, so it has the equivalency of a three. The wind has picked up. It's, uh, it's getting hard to kind of spot them, and they really are staying further out. So the important thing is, is we've got a rod at the ready. If one of us spots one, uh, doing any kind of rises Thinking Will might have because he just ran down to the other end um, You know the important thing is we weren't ready when we saw them close Now we are so if we see them coming up close like that again, we can get a rod on them For now, I'm gonna put my rig back in Because I'm hoping they push back down on the bottom been an interesting trip so far um, when we last spoke to you the last time we had the cameras on it was yesterday morning um, you would have seen us with will uh, at the first location that we were fishing uh, we had had those uh, 
two 20s and a 19, uh, a killer morning session, and we were trying for them on the surface. Uh, you know, unfortunately that didn't work out. We really weren't equipped for it, but it was really fun giving it a try. It was, it was quite exciting to just know at any second a little mouth could come up and, and take that bait. So that's where we left you, and I had mentioned um, that Will had some special guests that were in town uh, that he had to go take care of, and that we would be bouncing around from spot to spot. Well, what had happened after that surface fishing attempt is we actually went with Will to the location where his special guests were, and uh, that location was Rice Lake. So we set up in an adjacent swim that way we didn't interfere with anything that was going on you know through the guide service and, and what those guests were doing um, so Goldie and I set up you know Will set up and uh, you know the guests arrived uh, we all exchanged pleasantries very very nice and uh, we proceeded to carry on with our you know own personal fishing just to get some fishing done near friends and uh, you know kind of just watch and and let them do their thing uh, just across from us. Well, it, it turned out to be an incredibly productive session for us. Um, you know, Will managed a few fish uh, with, the, with the guests there. Uh, Goldie managed, actually I think Goldie and I were, dude, we were pretty much fish for fish until I got, so you got the one last, last one. Yeah. one at the end. Yeah. You know, we, we lost a couple, but uh, Goldie actually managed another fish over 20 pounds. Um, that one we didn't weigh, but we, you know, I'll, I'll just throw up some pictures. Like we had lots of mid doubles that were really, really quality fish between the two of us. Um, but when Goldie hooked into that beat, uh, what was funny was I also hooked into a fish, and we had a double header in our swim. And at the same time, Will hooked a fish in his swim. We had a triple run going on. Uh, it was uh, a lot of banter, it was a lot of fun. But Goldie's fish turned out to be uh, another chunker. Uh, you know, we, we figured 23, 24 pounds. Um, we probably should have weighed it for an official kind of, you know, this is what his uh, you know, next 20 was. But either way, it didn't really matter. With the triple run, we were able to actually get a photo uh, with Will, myself, Goldie, uh, and the special guests. And uh, we'll show you that photo now. It turns out the special guests that were actually here doing a special project were Matt Hayes and uh, Richard Lee. And uh, it, that, that was quite a, a surprise and, and quite a, an experience to, to you know, meet somebody that you've watched uh, in videos and programs for so long and learned so much from and there he is actually filming a project right there in front of you with one of your friends. So it was it was a pretty special moment to be able to meet him and, and uh, Richard was incredibly nice. And you know, just, he took one look at my setup and said, hey, you don't have a bobbin on, it's gonna make a difference if you throw a bobbin on. So I did, and uh, that's when I started catching. And you know, I wouldn't have thought of that seeing as we've done so well without the bobbins lately, but you know, it made a difference. And, you know, it was just one more of those things, you know, somebody that knows what they're talking about, pay attention and, you know, you can be rewarded for it. And, uh, yeah, we had, I think, nine fish between the two of us by the time that that six hour session was done. And what happens when you don't put a bobbin on? My fish sat there for how long, just sucking yeah. on that thing. <laughs> yeah, you had that fish on, we figure, for probably 15 minutes or so. A um, couple of minor false indications on the tip of the rod, but nothing through the alarm. And yeah, Goldie picked up to do a recast, and <laughs> away it went. But you know what, it, it was a great session, and it, it came to the point where they had finished doing the work that they were going to do for the day and they were going to go turn in to prepare for their final day which is today uh, down at that location not sure how well that's going to go based on the weather um, but we found ourselves needing a, a spot to fish for the night so uh, again in typical will fashion he gave us a, an idea of a couple locations that we could try and we shot down here uh, set up just after dark 
got the lines in and uh, yeah while the storms and things like that came through uh, I took a little short clip uh, with my phone of the, the rain um, we had lightning thunder quite quite heavy winds at times I actually lifted the bivy up at one point we had to peg it down even harder Almost sleeping Goldie. The quarter to five a.m. bivy cam update. Uh, it's not quite light enough to see the rods out there. It's pouring. This is one of several storms that have come through through the night. But well, it's getting harder. We've been hitting fish, so I guess it's worth it. Is it worth it? It's worth it. Is it? It is. That light is bright. Holy yeah, I know. Smokes. Well, your last fish was pretty awesome. Oh, that last fish was a crazy guy. All right, BB cam out. But it was uh, it was a really good night. We had a fish just about every hour. Uh, at 20 after 3 this morning, we actually lost uh, one each. But uh, Goldie, somehow, right at first light, manages a fish that took him all over the swim, fought like a demon, only for us to get it in and find out it was his first mirror. Uh, we didn't weigh it. The wind was just howling. We wanted to make sure we got the fish back. We took a series of photos, we'll show you those photos now. And it just so happened at that time that we got a call from Will. Uh, he was just waking up at the, the location where they are. And, uh, you know, he hadn't had any fish through the night. They, they were there feeding, but he hadn't had any yet. And we mentioned, hey, you know, Goldie got his first mirror, good for him. A uh, very unique one, very specific scale pattern on one side and a completely different on the other. Uh, as you've seen with the photos there. And it turns out that Will recognized that fish. Recognized it because he had caught it earlier this season. So he sent along some photos of the fish on the unhooking mat and I was able to compare them and yeah, he definitely did. Uh, we got two guys getting the same fish, same mirror. You know, what are the odds of that? Um, funny enough, a couple kilometers apart actually. That when Will had it, it was you know further up river from where we are now quite a ways. And, you know, it was quite a happy moment for Will to find out that that fish was actually okay. Uh, it turns out that when he had it, it, it didn't seem to be in the best of condition. And uh, when he released it, he was very worried for its safety. And he actually spent a lot of time reviving it uh, before it kind of just moseyed on off without any real effort. Well, it's, I'm not happy to tell him today that that fish put Goldie to work. There were several times where we thought it was gone. It kind of got in underneath the net, and you know we had two foot chop right here in the in the channel. And yeah, that fish is plenty healthy, and it swam away very well. So somebody else is going to have the opportunity to get that gorgeous fish. And that pretty much brings us up to where we are now. It's uh, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I've just had a, an indication just uh, just before we put the camera on and I've decided that the way things have chopped up and the fact that Goalie's actually had the last two runs, I'm going to break from my tactic and I'm going to try something else, a tactic that's worked for me the whole weekend. Um, we started off sat, well, late Friday night through to Saturday morning. Um, I was using the multi-rig. And I tried with maize for a little bit, it didn't work for me, so I put on the vanilla boily and that's what got me that 22, uh, 22 pounder that morning. So I stuck with the boilies. Uh, I did switch from vanilla over to the Monster Cart pineapple um, that I had glugged in some pineapple goo or goo or liquid or it was some kind of pineapple liquid something. I'm not even sure which one it was. I don't even know if it was even mine. I think I stole it from somebody else. But either way, the pineapple boilies have been soaking in it for the better part of a month now. At least, yeah. 
and you know what I've been catching with them and it turns out that yesterday I caught really well with bottom bait uh, you know a nice glugged pineapple bait over a couple like we were only spotting sparse two or three spots at a time and it kept the competition going around and the fish were all over it all my fish through the night came on the pineapple but Goldie's using corn and maize and he's not using boilies at all and since he's had the last two runs I don't want to use maize so I'm going to use a pop-up not just any pop-up pop-up I don't like uh, it's no surprise in you know many people who know me know I, I don't I'm not a fan of the northern specials from CC Moore it's not that there's anything wrong with them they catch a ton of fish lots of people use them I don't have good luck with them I had to take it to like the ultimate runs water to get fish on a northern special and that was just so we could burn through the pot because I didn't want to keep carrying it around I've still got half a pot's worth in here so what I'm gonna do because it's Will's favorite pop-up and I'm fishing in one of Will's spots, and we've already caught one of Will's fish. I'm gonna put on a Northern Special pop-up, mainly just because there's a lot of debris coming in with the wind, and the last few times I brought it in, my bottom bait has been covered in leaf debris. So I'm gonna pop this up a bit, see if that makes a difference, turns the, the little indications and the bumps into a take. And yeah, we're gonna see how the rest of the morning plays out. We're gonna do a couple more hours here, see how the weather's going to go and then we'd really like to head back down to that location where they're filming today uh, while they wrap things up and see if we can possibly get another fish out of that swim before we have to head home uh, you know it is thanksgiving weekend and it's time to spend some time with family but we need to get a few more fish first so enough of the rambling and the update time to throw a pop-up on that doesn't work and uh I'm sure Goldie will get the next bite anyways. Try the pop-up, see what happens. Fish just jumped again. Okay, so we're still waiting for another bite to come along. Uh, the fish have really started rising in here, and uh, the spot mix is empty. So, I thought I'd do a quick rundown of a very simple spot mix that we've actually been using for this weekend. And uh, yeah, it goes a little something like this. Start off with much maize as we can. Now, Sneaky Goldie, normally we would put bird food into this mix. Well, we ran out of bird food. Um, the normal bird food pigeon mix can, or pigeon conditioner that we put in with the maize and boil at the same time, uh, we're completely out of. So, Genius Goldie decided to mix in peanuts. So, the primary base of what we're putting out there has been maize and peanuts that were boiled together. So there's a little bit of bird food in here, I think, uh, the odd maple pea and things like that, but for the most part, it's just been maize and peanuts with a few extra additives. Now, I'm not going to make, I'm only going to make about half a pail of this batch. We're making it in, in small groups, using that up, and then making another batch. That way we try, we try to keep it as fresh as possible. So, yeah, about, about a third of a pail of the maize and peanuts with that little touch of bird food. Put this up. Okay, next, the monster carp corn pellets. The way these things break down and kind of stodge it up as you get all the juices and such in there, it, it, man, it really, really does add a whole other element. So, put about 
just over half of what we had left there. Next, I got some of the 16 mil tutti frutti boilies. Now, I'm not putting them in whole. I'm actually breaking these up to add to the pellet. Um, so we have that same kind of powdery or grainy consistency. So you can put them in a crusher. I don't want to dig my crusher out. These boilies are soft enough that you just break them apart. That way you get uneven chunks. Um, you know, you get fine particle, you get some like halves and chops and stuff like that without having to do the work of actually chopping them up. Just a little squeeze. And I'm doing maybe 20 or 30 baits like that. So it keeps it all pretty much along the same kind of color pattern, a, a yellow of sorts, so some off yellow. So I want to change it up a bit, add another element. And for that, hemp seed. Put quite a bit of that in. So that it can mix all throughout. And what I want to do is try and get some of the juice as well. Good mix. So this is the spot mix we used yesterday that gave us such a brilliant session. And just so you know, the mix that Will was putting out for him and his guests was this. He kept coming over with grabbing a spoon, stealing a spoon out of the bucket, taking off back over to the spot. So it was amusing, but we kept track. And uh, just so you know, Will, we know how many scoops you took. So that's pretty much it. You know, like in the past, we've done some pretty elaborate spot mixes with tons of different flavors, different textures and stuff. And lately, we've been using this at the Secret Swim uh, for some of the other, you know, kind of just our own sessions. Been using this in another project that we're filming uh, where we're pursuing it, well, I'm pursuing a target fish. This is very similar to what we're throwing out for her. So just keeping these all very simple, a few textures, a few colors, and you know, two, three flavors seems to be doing wonders. And we're getting a pretty quick response off of it after we put some fresh bait out. So yeah, after the last batch went out, we had what, three fish rise. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bomb in some more of this because there's more of the heavy particle in here now. Uh, that's what was gone from the last mix. But I'm going to give it about 10 minutes for the pellets to break down in the moisture. And then it'll be ready to go. Did you like just put that in the water? I put it exactly where you told me to put it. Didn't even hit bottom. I just recast. So you just put it in and it was right there. Literally, I just went right from the the boat's weight. This is what I did. It didn't even hit bottom. Sure it's, good. Yeah, it's not just a drifting log or something. <laughs> it's a good fighting log. <laughs> you win my line?
Here we go. And it's like 10:30, 11 o'clock. Uh, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Last fish out was the uh, beautiful mirror that I caught. That was like 6 o'clock this morning. So it's been a little bit slow. We've had so much different weather so far. We've got the wind and and it's been so sunny and now it's cloudy. But okay, I'm gonna put you down because you're really angry. Uh, what we had. We had the lock boat that just came through, and I just cast it right into its wake. And I'd say my bait had gone down maybe a foot, foot and a half, and bam, you were right on it. So it's been very slow. We've only seen one fish rise in the past four hours, five hours, and just on a fluke, I just happened to throw it in, and he was right behind them. So yeah, so happy for this guy. So, this is October and it's been very good to me. I've got my 20 pounder finally. I've got a mirror. I've got 10 fish on today. And not much more I could say, except that we conquered October. You're so pretty. I'll go back in the water. Put it in your hands? Yeah. Here. Okay. Heavy. 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 Right. Don't worry about getting slimy, just hug it. That's it. Hug, hug it. Him. Hug, hug it. Like hug that. it. Right? Very good. Beautiful, mate. Right? How cracking that is. Look at that. Now I'm just going to get a picture. And are you ready, guys? Smile, yeah. smile. Smile. Very cool.
the rod just went slammed in my hand. Thought it would be nice to try a little bit of stalking. There's nothing happening at the pod. And yeah, I just saw one fish out here. I don't know if it's the one I hooked, but man, it was just milling around in the shallow. Getting sun. color on these fish here is just incredible. All power is just such a strong fish. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't think I was gonna let us end the video. Gold, Gold, you're like, you're like, you're like. Get down there.
Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I remember what I said I was going to do. Yeah. Not let Goldie get the last lap. I'm literally saying to the camera, I'm not going to let Goldie and his heels off. And we all have Crazy, to eh? So we're going to need... It just happens that way. Uh, the light back here for the pole okay. is going to be tricky, so... We're going to just to face, face that way. Face out. Okay, you want to lift your fish out, Goldie? Goldie, that is an absolute pick. Good. No, man, that's a filthy fish. Well done. That is the biggest fish I think caught here now. That's 26. You got it, buddy? Okay, got it. Okay. Drop back. I, I'm okay, getting your camera turn. He's a heavy pack. Oh. <laughs> Aim him that way. Yep. Yeah, you can only swim one direction. Man, that's massive. How is yours, how is yours heavier than mine? Yours is three pounds heavier than mine. Oh, is it? And okay. yours is all in the head. <laughs> that's not about right. Boom, boom. boom. Okay, is that camera ready? Ah, there it's you on, go. man. It's running. Uh, you, the photo? Ready? Oh. Hey, baby. So, oh, that won't work. You got better angle. That's okay, I got it. So, you know, here I'm thinking I'm going to outdo Goldie. One last chance, stalking one out of the margin. And he does this to me. <laughs> so mine, 20 pound 15. Goldie's, 23 15. And I think all the weight's in its head. All the weight's also in it's his. In my head too, yep. <laughs> but what a way to just wrap up such an amazing session over the last couple of days, two nights, two days. Hey, nice going down. <laughs> And so many amazing fish, amazing people, great friends. You know, what else could we ask for? Carp's line, buddy. Yep. Oh, yeah. What a day. What a weekend. What a fishery. Thank you, Will. No problem. Oh, we really conquered October. Oh, yeah. <laughs> conquered. 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 Yeah. How many, okay. how many 20s did you need this year, month? I got I three of them. Zero. I needed three this month. You needed three. <laughs> I've had three. Okay, we gotta get these fish back. Yep. Yep. Hey, Goldie. Conquered? Conquered. John, conquered? Goldie outfished me again. She's conquered, folks. She's conquered. Okay, so I'm doing this because they're making me. Um, you know, think back just a little while ago, I, I spoke to you about my, my personal issues with the Northern Special Pop-Ups from C.C. Moore. I, I've mentioned before, everybody catches on them, everybody loves them. I don't. Uh, the only thing I seem to be able to catch on them is bass. And, uh, you know, Goldie broke off his rig. Will was kind enough to provide him with one of his rigs. And he put on a Northern Special pop-up. So, you know, I'm thinking he's not going to get anything. He's not worried about getting anything. And then me trying to finish this video off, outdoing Goldie by getting the last fish in there, backfired. Uh, backfired badly. So, you know, I was able to stock one over in the margin and it turned out to be a 20. I was over the moon with that. But to have his rod rip off with the damn Northern Special. And then for that fish to be three pounds, exactly three pounds heavier than mine. You know, I had said that I was gonna beat the crap out of Goldie for if he caught on a Northern Special just because he was doing it despite me. Um, so, I think you're in for a beating there, bro. Um, <laughs> you're going home bruised and purple. <laughs> But, as I've already said to you, I'm very, very pleased that you got another big fish. It's been your weekend. You've crushed the big fish. You got the mirror. 
you know, you've got what, 11 fish now? 11 fish, uh, yeah. To my nine. You know, we're gonna fish for a couple more hours, but you know what, the cameras are going away. We don't need to film anything else. We're trying to get some uh, some more pleasure fishing in, and uh, you know, if we, if he outdoes me again and gets another 30, well, we'll maybe throw the camera on, but I don't know how many times we're gonna say it. October's conquered. This is one of been the, be the best sessions we've had, and it's been so much fun. So many quality fish, so many great people, and uh, yeah. Now, did you really think I'd let John and Goldie have the last fish? Not in my neck of the woods. John goes for a swim. Mine, 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 mine. I got it, I got it. <laughs> well, I guess I didn't get the last fish. <laughs> Are you alright, John? I'm wet. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alright, bud? Yeah, I found I found the soft part. It's the water. The, the soft rock, eh? Wait a minute. Who's gonna get the last fish? Day's not over yet. That's slippery there. It is. Slippery when wet. Oh. Hey, brother. Having a good time? Yeah. Yeah, me too. You got my phone right, Goldie? Yep. What? What just happened? Well, I filled my boots. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like, seriously, I just got down there with the net. And I heard a flip, and I looked over at the bobbin, and it just jumped right up. Well, I was, I was all the, I just recast it, you know. And uh, we were sitting there laughing, going, oh, "How funny would it be if I took the last fish?" And then it happened. And uh, well, I'm all changed now, and I'm all right with the double. Okay, so we got your net there, but I don't have my net. That's okay. And you're gonna be a while. Mine's, I don't think mine's too long away. See if I can get them both in the same net. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Come on. This line's not big, but he's strong. Yeah, this line too is not big at all. Mine's just grumpy. Whoa! They almost kissed there. Yeah! And... Matt Hayes is into a fish. Matt's into a fish too? Yeah, yeah. triple. Unbelievable. Do you like a hand or are you alright? I'm good, buddy. Okay. You sure you're not gonna fall in again? Well, I might fall in again, so but it won't matter now. Now you're right wet. Oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> Up fast. I rod in the way, Goldie. You good? Okay. Get out to that rock again. Hey, 
<laughs> I'm sorry, what? Did you just say that? <laughs> walk out of that rock. I, yeah, just walk around to the front of it. Take a Sit step. down. Take a leap. Leap I of did. faith. <laughs> no, you is took that, is that a, my sock? You took a nice trip. Come on, John, it's a double. What are you doing? Dragging this out as long as I can to get the last fish. <laughs> Until Goldie's rod goes off. <laughs> Get in that net. Get in there. If it's up to John, he's still not gonna let he's still not gonna let anybody but him have the last fish. It's not over till the fat carp bites my line. <laughs> Sorry? It's not like we're using the wrong method the job either. It's not as impressive as your guys' double, but hey, it's double and that was pretty wicked. Did you see John go in? No. Oh, I'm he fell right down that rock. So we right shoom, right, right into the water. <laughs> right in there. All on. Did you get it on tape? Oh, yeah. brilliant. <laughs> that would be great for you. Yeah. Won't it? <laughs> Yes, it will. I'll turn mine to work you too. There I'm not the only one that falls down. You relax. I love it when John falls down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Uh, we're trying to show each other up and uh, again, it keeps backfiring. Nice try, Will. I tried. But it wasn't that fun. Yeah, it wasn't as, not as impressive as your guys' double. Hey, a double's a double, you know. We're catching fish, we're having fun. I don't want to get your sock right there. You don't want to get my socks on your shit. So yeah, I've had my swim for the day, at the swim for the day. Beauty. Lovely man. Thank you. Oh. You just took that to a whole other <laughs> level. Get a room! <laughs> Aren't you glad you wore your rubber boots? <laughs> uh, I tore my pants, I tore my boots. So worth it. Just so Will can't have the last laugh, Just right? Just so Will can't have the last minute. <laughs> I swear I was trying to net your fish for you. Yeah, I think I'm... I think I'm going to be glad when this day's over. 